we're moving quite swiftly, I must say, to the next talk, which is about translations. Mark, can I ask you to go, come on stage? Ah. You have the clicker? Okay. All right, you're good. So, hello everybody. My name is Mark, and I would try, uh, I will um, tell you some words about how to translate and localize Nextcloud. Uh, the first number is not correct. I see yesterday on my train ride, um, at the end of last year, 8 billion people uh, are living on the Earth. Maybe in 2050, we will reach the 10 billions. We have hundreds of languages, and we cannot expect that everybody speaks English or other major languages like uh, Chinese or French or India. And we need to support everyone to spread Nextcloud. We already have a hundred uh, languages. Some of them are nearly complete. Some of them are just started. And um, yeah, but who is doing the work? It's not done by any commercial uh, translation uh, offices. It's done by volunteers. Some of them might be here as well today. Actually, we are about 3,500. Uh, for entry level, it's quite easy to start translating. You first have to join us. We're using a platform that's called Transifex. Not quite sure if everybody knows that. You just have to create an account over there. It's for free, no costs. As soon as you have done this with an email address and a password, like uh, mostly it works, uh, you have to join the Nextcloud project, select the language you like to translate, and then you might see a lot of resources. So you can just start with the one you use most and best, uh, you, you know best, maybe the mail app or whatever. And then, you can start. Some words about uh, Transifex. It's a translation platform. It's a web base. They have a lot more tools, but you only need a, a modern browser. And it allows really a quick start for you. On the right side, um, I make a screenshot three weeks ago, and you see uh, some numbers on it. Uh, the Nextcloud project is not small, so uh, it's not a job on a rainy Sunday afternoon to localize Nextcloud in a, in a language you speak. We have more than 100,000 words, but there's a little bit of intelligence on Transifex which helps you to speed up translations. We collected some information before. It takes you 15 minutes to read a, a knowledge article we um, added at our help forums. And we supply a list of resources and uh, a priority from our view. Because you have more than 150 resources over there, we have the server bundle shipped with many apps. And if you don't know where to start, just have a look at the list and select one. So maybe you already started and contributed a little and want to do something more. You can become a reviewer. Reviewing is important to improve the quality of the translations. Translators are discussing at Transifex sometimes. The French people are very active for the last weeks. They're filing issues. Sometimes it's about the translation. Sometimes uh, context is missing, so they don't understand the English words to translate. And to improve the source text, we need to contact developers at GitHub, at a chat room on the cloud instance of Nextcloud. Uh, if you want to know more about it today, later, I will do a workshop for it. And uh, I have a nickname. It's a Norwegian word nobody, nobody can pronounce, pronounce right. But you can see it here. And you can reach me at the forums, at Transifex. And uh, yeah. Join us. Thank you for your talk. Very important translations. So, um, yep, thank you.